Greetings and salutations, Titanium Tim 18, here in beautiful Leon Springs, Florida. And have I got a treat for you. Right over yonder here, I'm gonna turn you around, see this? That's my 2014 F-150. 3.5 liter twin turbo Eco Boost. 365 horsepower, 465 foot pounds of torque. Can tow 11,300 pounds. It's a beast. But when I bought it, I had a few miles on it and there was no catch can on it. And I've been going back and forth about catch cans. Should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? And uh, the catch can kits are like uh, 200, between two and five hundred dollars for two catch cans and you know that's a lot of money and I got to research and it it's really simple to do so that's what we're going to do today now I didn't bother boring you with the unboxing of these these are the this is what they are that's where you can find them I don't know how to say that Aegis Aegis they're catch cans I know it's reversed I ain't smart enough to fix that they're catch cans and let me show you what I got here. It's a little, it's small. It's not very big, not very big, but it's got a mounting bracket here with holes in it. And it's got a dipstick so you can check it before you unscrew it. I didn't really care about that, but that's what it came with. And then they unscrew and this is how you empty them. Okay. You emptied all the juice out, put it back in. And I'm telling you, this is high quality. This is high grade anodized aircraft aluminum this son of a gun is machined and built to the t now it comes with one of these breathers that you can put on the top here you take this bolt out and you put a, a collar here and you put this on there but i don't need the breather because i want to recirculate the the gas without putting the junk back in my engine so that's what we're going to do today i got two of them we're going to put them together i got this is how you take this apart. I watched this on YouTube and I'll, I'll give the guy credit when I figure out who it is. These are the factory fittings. And this tubing was on here like this. This is on the passenger side. And all you gotta do is heat this up with a heat gun and they pop right off. And then you can use the factory connectors. You don't have to buy new connectors. Use the factory connectors with half inch fuel line. Okay, you wanna use half inch fuel line. Now, I went to Home Depot and Lowe's and they didn't have any, so. I went to O'Reilly. They had a box, 25 feet. I know I don't need 25 feet, but I'd rather have too much and not enough. Ha! That's what she said. You know, that sounded better in my head. Anyway, I bought 25 feet. Here's what it costs. Now these catch cans are about 23, $25 a piece. So I got about 50, $55 in them. Now I bought the, the uh, fuel line was $62, it was $2.49 a foot. Man, the last time I bought this, of course it's been a long time, it was like 50, 60 cents a foot. I couldn't believe it was $2.49 a foot. But it was cheaper getting it there than running around and trying to find it for less and wasting my time, wasting my gas, I didn't do it. So, and then I got a little box, a little container of couplings just in case, hose clamps, they were $2.99, okay? Then, because I got to mount these things because when you do it yourself, it doesn't come with a mounting bracket. When you buy the kit, you get a mounting bracket, but it's like I said, it's 209, 249, 329, crazy. So I bought this piece of stock, a little piece of flat stock. It's a uh, 12 gauge and it was $8. No, it was $5.68 because I bought a Red Bull too. It was $5.68. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and make my brackets. Now I'm going to, First off, I'm gonna take this edge off here because they shear this, and this is really sharp. I don't wanna cut myself working with it. So it's smart to go in yonder and take the wheel, wire wheel, and wire wheel this down so it's nothing smooth, so I don't make a mistake and fillet my skin off. And then I'm gonna make a bracket. Now, I'm not gonna bore you with all those details of bending it and rebending it, and you watching me time lapse, all that stuff. I'm gonna just show you the finished product, just like unboxing that. Everybody knows how to take that stuff out of a box. Ain't no reason to bore you. All right, so let me get on it. Uh, I'm gonna get this done. I think I'm gonna mount it. Come on over here with me. I think I'm gonna mount it. Let me go down a little bit. Right up. Uh, 
here we go. Let me go get the can and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Put that down. I'm thinking about taking that piece of stock 12 gauge and there's a bolt down here. There's a bolt down there. See that bolt down there under the horn? That bolt down there. And I'm gonna bend it at 90 degrees and put this like right here so I can still unscrew it and get it out. But at the same time, the hoses are gonna go in here. I just have to make sure I can make that bend. I might take them through here and I'll do the same thing on the other side. And this, you'll be able to see it through the grill if you really look, but I'm not really concerned about seeing it through the grill. I could mount them underneath, but then I'd have to get on my back to, to empty them and I don't wanna do that. So anyway, I'm gonna get on this. So I'll check in with you when I'm done. What do I keep telling you? Look at me when I'm talking to you, boy. Anyway, I can't get over these things. For $23, I can't stress to you how well made these things are. This is anodized aircraft aluminum. These things, this is, this is way better than any thermos or anything. I mean, this is, this is serious business here. These things ain't playing. And this is real easy to do. It really is. There's just a, an in and an out on either side of the engine. Uh, I'm gonna do the passenger side first because that's the side that's under pressure. The other side's under a vacuum when it sucks it in. And, and that's why I bought the fuel line instead of going, I keep looking up there, wait for my brother to come down here. That's why I got the fuel line instead of what, let me show you what comes with it. This is the tubing that comes with it, okay? And for $23, you can't expect much. I really, it's okay, it's not a big deal. But see how it's thin and it collapses? And if, if it's under a vacuum, it could suck it down and then nothing would get through it and I'd get a code. So anyway, let me get working on this and I'll check back with you. All right, I'll see you soon. All right, I'm back. Now this is the bracket. This is what it looks like. And it mounts in the truck just like this. This bolts in the bottom, the bolts on the top, and it's just a support bracket. This is the out hose and this is the in hose. Now I'm gonna run the hoses here and here. Same on the other side, it should work very well. This, I've got the dipstick here that I can unscrew this from up top and check it and see if there's any oil in there. And if there is, then I can get underneath and unscrew this. There's enough room for me to unscrew this and take it out, all right? So I'll check back with you when I'm done. Greetings and salutations. Titanium Tim 18 here in beautiful De Leon Springs, Florida. And behind me is my 2014 F-150. You already know what it's got. I've already told you 3.5 twin turbo eco boost, six speed automatic transmission, 373 rear end, can tow 11,300 pounds. It's a beast for an F-150. And what I did was I put some catch cans on there and you'll see earlier in this that I, I put, I'm gonna try to blend in stuff. I put some catch cans and I researched it and I, I wanted the catch can on either side because they say that's the best. <clears throat> and the cheapest I found for two catch cans was 209. The most expensive was like 599. Well, I was watching YouTube and there was a fellow on there that had a cheap catch can fix. And I went on there and I ordered two of those catch cans that he had. You'll see them on there. They're real, they're real inexpensive, well built, extremely well built. L aluminum, uh, aircraft grade aluminum, very thick, lots of rubber gaskets and O-rings and a little dipstick and it works great. Those were $55 with shipping. And then I had to get the uh, fuel line to run it to the cans from the intake and output on the, on the engine. And you do that because it sucks a vacuum on this one side and it would collapse the hose. <clears throat> so I went to uh, Lowe's Home Depot. They didn't have what I needed. So I went to O'Reilly's. Now nobody's sponsoring this. I went to O'Reilly's and they had a half inch inside diameter fuel line. It was 249 a foot. I bought 25 feet, so it was $62 and change for the tubing. So all together, I have 105, um, six and five, 110, 115, $120 in it. Now it didn't come with brackets, but I was fortunate because my brother came down and helped me. And I'm gonna show you, while well, I showed you in the video, the brackets I put it on, but now I'm gonna show you the finished product. 
And I can tell you that I'm very happy with it. And the truck has 110, 112,000 miles on it. So really it should have been done from the factory and it would have been better on the valves, but you get what you get. I bought it, it had some miles on it. So um, I did it to prevent any further buildup on the valves and hopefully it will last to uh, make it last longer because I want to keep the truck a very long time. I like it. I'd actually like to find a 1993 or 92 uh, F-250 four-door diesel, but the only one I found was very expensive. So anyway, I digress. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you off the stand. We're going to go and get my flashlight and take a look. I'm going to show you how I did it. Now, on the connectors that go on the engine, there's one that goes from the output down below on the, on the uh, engine up to the air intake. And there's two clips there. I just used the factory clips. This guy on the YouTube video, he showed me, take a heat gun and heat up that tubing, pops right off and you can reuse that clip. You can reuse that plug with a half inch inside diameter. Now I did put hose clamps on them. You will see hose clamps on them, but I did not crank them down, okay? I just got them on there and I snugged them up just to keep them from pulling off because there's barbs in there. I snugged them up. I know they're plastic. They're not that great of plastic. So I know they could crack. So I just snugged them up a little bit. So anyway, let's take a look at it, okay? So hold on and I'll unhook you here and we'll go over there. Okay, now we're gonna go over here to the truck and I'm gonna show you. Now see this side here? Okay, you see that, this right here? This one right here, that goes out to the catch can from the engine. This one here goes out to the catch can, and then this one here comes in from the catch can, right here, this one here, from the catch can, it goes into the air intake. Okay, I got them routed down through underneath here, underneath the engine, and if you look here, there's the catch can, see it? And I put clamps on both of them. What I did was I took this support bracket off. Let me see if I can get you in here. There's a support bracket there, supports the bumper, and that under there. So I took that off and I drilled it out and I put those two in there. I put the two screws in there and that holds it on there. And now let me see if I can do this. There's a, let's see if I can do this here. There's a dipstick under here. You take this out. See, there's a dipstick and you can check it and see where the where the oil is inside the can and the dipstick goes right over there and you got to screw that in tight okay now that's on the passenger side now and that's down out of the way now for me to drain the can i can loosen it from up here or i can go underneath either one but it's out of the way it's out of the airflow and it's mounted in a very good secure place underneath I did have to drill two holes in that bracket, but no big deal. Now, the other catch can, now remember I'm taking the beauty cover off here. The other catch can, this is the one that goes to the engine right here. This goes from the engine to the catch can. The one under here, see that one under there? That one goes from the catch can to the air intake on the turbo. So that's why that one has a different, more vacuum than that one has over there. And I ran the two tubes like this. You see them run there? You see them under there? I'm not real good at videography, so you're gonna have to bear with me. They go underneath there. And I strip tied everything up really good. And if you look, there's the catch can over here. Same bracket. I did the same thing. And as you can see, see if I can do this. It's got a dipstick as well. See, there's the dipstick to check and see what the fluid level is. Okay, and this one's like the other one. I can get it from up here, I can loosen it from up here, or I can get it from underneath, okay? And you gotta be careful, it's out and in, and you gotta make sure that the lines are right, because you gotta have the line from the engine output is the inside on the catch can. The outside of the catch can goes to the airflow in the vehicle, okay? So that's it. Let me put this over here and I'll uh, I'll put you down. Bear with me again. Okay, so that's it. That's the catch cans on my 2014 F-150. I haven't given her a name yet. I name my vehicle sometimes, sometimes I don't. I'm kind of goofy like that. But anyway, if you have any recommendations on a name, let me know. Put it in the comments below or email me at titaniumtim18 at gmail.com with your questions, concerns, or comments. 
I'm going to try to put the links in the description, but I'm still not getting good at this. So if you have any specific questions, just put it in the comments and I'll reply to you personally and, and send you pictures and stuff. I'm going to try to take pictures where I got everything, but uh, it was pretty easy to do overall. It did take a couple of hours. Anybody tells you you can put them catch cans on that truck in five minutes is a bold-faced liar. Uh, even if you buy the kit, see the advantage to the kits is everything comes pre-cut and you have the brackets that you can put. But I looked at several of the kits and I didn't like the way the brackets were. Some of them had the bracket coming off of the battery over here and it was sticking way up high. I didn't like that. And some of them only had one catch can and I wanted two. And just for added protection, wasn't that much more money. So I've got, I've got say 55, say 60 bucks with shipping and all the handling and stuff in the catch cans. I got 60 bucks in the tubing and then I got a few dollars for the clips and then the rest of it was just my time. So I got 120 bucks and I got a dual catch can system that I think works very well. I'm going to keep you posted over time. I'm going to let it run uh, for a few thousand miles and then I'll check it and, and show you what it's doing. But they're supposed to do very well in these trucks. So, all right, I'm going to punch out for now. I want to thank everybody for stopping by. Remember and never forget, it's not what happens to you. It's how you deal with it. Be good to yourself, be good to each other, and you generate your own stress. Stop stressing yourself out. Just stop it, okay? Just stop stressing yourself out. All your problems, for the most part, are third world problems, and I'm guessing maybe they're not. Maybe you got cancer and you only got a month to live or something, but you know what? I've had a good run, so can't cry over spilled milk. Anyway, I digress. I'm going to cut on out of here. I appreciate you tuning in. I can't believe I've got 233 subscribers. Fantastic. Thank you all very much for tuning in. You need to start watching more of my videos. I got 233 subscribers, but my, my video on my refrigerator reset only got 17 views. Come on. What's a few minutes? I'm not going to ask you to hit the like button or hit the subscribe button because if you want to, you will. If you don't, you won't. Leave a comment if you want. Other than that, I'm out. See you later, and I love you. Goodbye.